I'm Jeffrey Peters with Precision Digital Corporation. Today I'm very excited to introduce a new product to you, our PD138 Minimux 2 Annunciator Scanner, and also a special package we've developed that provides you with a low-cost automatic temperature monitoring system that includes the PD138, and that's this system right here, the PDS178 Automatic Temperature Monitoring and Alarming System. So what the PD-178 consists of is a PD-138 Minimux, a PD-765 Trident meter with two relays in it, and a NEMA 4X box with the two cutouts for the uh, instruments here. Now the PD-138 Minimux is an eight-channel read relay scanner that accepts up to eight analog inputs. And this particular application, I have eight thermocouples connected to it, so we're doing temperature monitoring. And you can see that the Minimux is stepping through each channel, dwelling on that channel for about four seconds, and switching the signal up to a meter where it's read out in temperature. So the normal operation is the Minimux dwells through the channel, switches it up here. A couple things I can also do is I can stop the, cha stop the scan on a particular channel by pressing the stop go button down here and that would stop the scan on a particular channel. Say I want to do some troubleshooting or something like that. Or I can also use the stop go button to advance the scan manually if I want to get to a particular channel quickly. So that's the normal operation of the, of the Minimux. Something else we can do is the, the, uh, we can use this as an alarming system. And the alarms are taken care of up here in the meter so you might imagine that this trident has two relays in it, and we have, we're using one of those relays, and it's set at 110 degrees. So when any one of these uh, thermocouples exceeds 110 degrees, when the Minimux is on that particular channel, an alarm will be generated by this meter up here that will then be indicated by the Minimux. So let me just show you by, by heating up one of the thermocouples back here, I'll apply some heat to this thermocouple. <clears throat> and this, I believe, is number two. So I'll just help the scan along a little bit by going the stop go button. And now when we get to channel two, an alarm will occur. And you can see the light flashing, a built-in horn sounds and also a relay transfer that could be used to drive a, another light. The Minimux continues to scan. I press the silence button, and the horn silences. But the light will keep flashing until I press the act button, and then it will go out again. When we come back around, it will look at channel two again, and it is below the set point, so the alarm will reset. The red light goes away, and now we're back to the normal operation. So that's a typical way that this Minimux works. And the way this system right here works, which I'm talking about, which is the PD-178, the way this whole system works as a low-cost temperature monitoring and alarming system. In fact, when you buy the PDS-178, the, the price for this is $599, and that's $148 less than when you buy these, these three parts separately. So we really are targeting the temperature monitoring and alarming system, uh, sorry, uh, applications with this system here. And we think it's gonna be very popular for temperature monitoring and alarming. One of the key features of the PD-138 is that it eliminates the need for seven extra displays. All you need is one Minimux and one meter, and you can automatically scan and check for alarm on up to eight inputs. The standard dwell time for each channel is four seconds, but each channel is fully adjustable between a half and 30 seconds. You can also program a channel to be skipped, and you can also stop the scan by pressing the stop go button. As I demonstrated, alarms are indicated by a flashing LED, a built-in horn, and a relay. The PD-138 can also handle four to 20 milliamp signals, and is available with a resistor network that keeps the loops that are not currently being scanned from going open. This is useful if you are monitoring level in tanks from 4 to 20 milliamp level transmitters. 
One of the biggest improvements is the PD-138 is priced $100 less than its predecessor, the PD-118. Let's review some pricing now. We have priced the PD-138 so it is very competitive as an automatic temperature switch, and we're very interested in going after that kind of business. The most common configuration of the Minimux is the PD-138-3 or-4, and they're priced at $299. DC power is another $100, and if you want to switch 4 to 20 milliamp signals, you would go with the dash CL version. Not only does the PD-138 save you $100 over the cost of the old PD-118, if you buy the PDS-178 system that I'm showing you here, you save an additional $148 over the cost of the individual parts. Here's the same system put together by a customer to monitor bearing temperatures in his ferry boat system. One of the most important considerations on the PD-138 Minimux is how it handles alarms. And one thing you may have noticed is that the PD-138 only responds to alarms when it is on that particular channel. So there are actually two ways it can work. And what we're showing in this diagram is the application where there is one common alarm set point and for all the inputs, which is what we see on the PDS-178, or there are eight individual alarms. And this would be more of an application where you had some way to indicate eight different set points. In this case, we're doing that with the PD-6000, which has four internal relays and four external relays. And you can see that up here is the alarm in connector. And each one of these separate inputs has its own alarm in line. So relay number eight is connected to alarm in number eight. So whenever relay number eight trips, an alarm will occur on input number eight. Now over here is the more common way, which is what we have in the 178 system. And the PD-765 has two relays, and all we're doing is connecting up one relay to all the alarm in lines. So we have a common set point in this application of 110 degrees, and whenever the Minimux is on a channel that exceeds 110 degrees, an alarm will occur. So if, if let's just say, the Minimux is on channel six and uh, alarm number one is above the set point, alarm number one will not go into alarm because the Minimux is not looking at that channel. It's only looking at channel six. When it got around to alarm number one, then if it was still above the alarm condition, the alarm would occur. So it's important to realize how the alarms work. All right, let's wrap it up here. What I'd like to do now is give you my two-minute demonstration on this PDS-178 system here. So what we have here is a PDS-178 temperature monitoring system, and it consists of a Minimux PD-138, a PD-765 6R2-00 trident meter with two relays in it, and an EMA 4X box with the two, with the two cutouts for these two instruments. Uh, coming with it also. Now the PDS-178 has a price of $599, which is $148 less than buying the individual components. So uh, the first time around I showed you what happens when I, when I put the, some temperature on a single thermocouple. Now what I'd like to do is, is uh, heat up a bunch of thermocouples so I can generate multiple alarms, and we'll see what that looks like. <clears throat> so I'll heat up these thermocouples right here. And we'll start to get some alarms. So we have uh, bearing number seven, bearing number eight, an alarm, bearing number three, and bearing number four. Bearing number five was one of the external ones, so it didn't it didn't come on. Now we'll silence by pressing the silence button. And then we'll acknowledge by pressing the acknowledge button. Now as the, as the Minimux continues to scan, it will look for, to see if the alarm condition is still present. In this case it is, so the light will stay on. Notice how the light stayed on. This one there is no alarm, so it goes out. This one there's also no alarm. 
so it stays out. And these ones here are still above the set point, so the alarms will stay on there. Still above the set point. And below the set point, so now it resets. And these ones are also out of alarm also. So this is a typical application for the Minimux, which is bearing temperature monitoring. So there's a quick demonstration of how the PDS-178 functions.